What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna finish these stabilizer legs finally. Um, so as you guys might have seen, part one and part two, I did do there. Uh, part two, the motor broke the shaft, so I'm just gonna scrap that whole idea. Uh, the wiring side would have been really simple, but just the motor side was just unreliable. So what I'm gonna do, I'll buff that man off, we'll cut that off and buff down the welds. Um, we'll fix up these welds here, because they're a bit sloppy. Um, and then I'll add a little bit of a brace inside. Um, and then I'll obviously have to finish um, welding on the bracket here that attaches to the leg. Um, just give this a nice coat of paint, whatever, and I'll finish off that other leg. So let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to unbolt these. Um, that way we can buff this weld up and and, um, and get that nice and fixed. And I'll obviously have to make up a little bracket. I just want to make sure that this can't break off just with the weight of the trailer if anything was to happen. I'll have to um, buff that off, but that's all right. Alright guys, so just finished that up. Um, I buffed off the old motor mount. Um, I just have to clean up that little bit of um, burnt paint there, but that's alright. And I finished off this mount here, so I'll have to just run the welder back over that, so I'll fix that up. Um, and I'll cut a piece for in here, um, so that we can um, add a little bit of strength back to that weld. And I'll probably put a cap or something, some sort in the top here at some stage, just so it doesn't fill up full of water if it's ever raining. Um, and, and rot out the inside, so... I think the next step will um, probably start welding that up. Alrighty guys, so now we're gonna finish off welding up um, this grounded part. We'll weld the back, weld down the sides here, and we'll put in this little gusset, just to add some support that way. So I'll weld down there. I won't be able to weld inside, but I'll be able to put a little bit of silicon, or I'm um, sorry, seam sealer in there, just so that um, doesn't no water gets in there and rusts it out. Side, so the gas from the tip does come out and um, gets a bit ruined when it gets windy but anyway so those those welds are ground back just sort of aesthetics for looks there um, so that won't affect any of the paint though um, one thing I will try and do is try and find a cap for the end I know this is fairly small box tubing so I'll cap that in and cap up here but now we can start to um, dismantle this leg and get it ready for paint all right so it's actually the next day here I got kind of late on me last night um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'll remove this leg foot here and I'll unwind it from inside, clean all that up with a little bit of brake clean and I'll clean this one up and we'll paint it up and then I'll be able to reassemble.
All right, so I just ran to the hardware store, um, picked up some paint. I did try and find some end caps, like I mentioned uh, yesterday, to cap those posts, um, but they were all run out because stocks are sort of low at the moment with this virus and all that. Um, but I picked up some of this um, DY Mark paint, just some gloss black, so that should do. I don't really use any specific sort of paint. Um, I just sort of pick anything out that's sort of there. So we'll paint up. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is paint up this, so I'll just paint this this part upwards and then we'll do the leg and the bracket. Alright guys, that come up amazing. That paint looks really good. I'm happy with that finish. Um, it is gloss black, so that looks nice. It's covered all the areas pretty good, so that's I'm happy with that. Um, I will add some of that seam sealer later. I was going to do it before, but I thought I'll wait till I've painted it so I can get in all the cracks and that. Yeah, so we'll whack this one together. So that paint really stands out, it looks good. The other one's actually drying at the moment, but I will finish that one off camera and put it on the other side. So I'm really happy with how that slides out. The paint does make it a little bit hard to slide in that tube, but that's all right, I'll be able to um, give that a bit of a clean out inside. It is a little bit rusty. So yeah, it it's, um, gives us a lot more stability with the trailer, so we're able to slide this out further or in more if we want to, just to give ourselves a bit more room or anything like that. And we'll be able to change a wheel and all that um, if we have the other one on the other side We'll be able to jack them both up and change a wheel out or anything on the side of the road if we need to um, Yeah, so let me know guys if you want to see this out in use I'm really really keen to get stuck in this camper and take it out and give it a good test um, See how it sort of flexes and all that sort of work So let me know down in the comments guys what you reckon we should paint this I'm thinking some sort of Raptor liner or maybe the original hammer tone or something just something different um, Just let me know your thoughts down below but I definitely want to get stuck into it very soon, so finish up those outlets at the top as I've mentioned a couple of times. Yeah, I want to get stuck back into it and finish this thing off, so that'll be great. And we are doing a price reveal at the end, so I'll let you guys know how much this is all sort of cost and sort of the basics. Um, yeah, but definitely jump over to Instagram for an inside scoop before YouTube. I post there a lot. And definitely smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And drop us a like if you like the video. Thank you guys for all the love and support, and we'll see you in the next one.